I'm not sure why it matters if the ports are on the back or front of the device. But mine came with the ports on the front not like it really matters to me though because the item performance was why I bought it. My router only came with 4 ports on the back of it. And I prefer to hardwire everything for the speed. Wi-Fi speed will never outbeat the speed of being hardwired. The device delivers the same speed as the router. And basically just did what I needed and that was to add more ethernet ports it was stupid easy to set up. You just plug a cable that's coming out of the router port directly into the first port. Not that it matters which port you pick. And then your additional devices into the other ports and bam instant extra ports it came with a CD. Not sure why. I just left it in the box. Maybe it was firmware updates. IDK. My computer doesn't have a CD ROM on it and why update something when it's already performs the way intended. I was searching for a router that was wired only. When I found this one I was pleasantly surprised, because it was a gigabyte router at its listed price. Once I got past the fact that you must sacrifice your first or fifth internet port as you're coming in network signal the setup was easy, zero complications. So far I have only two devices connected via ethernet cable, and I haven't had much of a drops in my gigabyte speed. Considering the cable modem is actually 36 featuring away, it's why I'm using a 50 featuring cat 6 ethernet cable to trail it through walls and corners so due to the long cable used to connect to the living room modem. The speed lost is expected since there's aren't any cable lines in any of the bedrooms. I'm content with the data speed I'm currently getting. For now at least. Until I figure another method to move the cable modem. Nicely built. And the LEDs will change color depending on the connection speed. RTL 8367N chip.